So hey everyone, it's Emmanuel here, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be giving you a quick tutorial on how to fix or adjust a dim rangefinder patch. For this fix, we're just gonna need a toothpick, electrical tape, and some scissors. How we're gonna fix this is by cutting off a chunk of electrical tape into a square and putting it in the center of our rangefinder. This will help create some contrast between your secondary and primary image, allowing you to focus even in dim lighting. This reportedly works on all rangefinders, but for today's video, I'm gonna be using the infamously dim Olympus XA. And before we get into this, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Rick Olson. He's actually the one that discovered this and did a quick post on his website. I'm gonna be linking it down below. Okay, so first things first, open up your uh, camera, and then we're gonna to have to cut off a chunk of tape. Don't expect uh, exact measurements from me. I always just kind of eyeball things. So, I mean, if you're shooting the rangefinders, you're probably already eyeballing things. Once you cut off a small strip like this, you're going to cut off something of a square. Uh, something of a square. And then put the, put the strip to the side in case you mess up and need to do this again. We cut that off. And as I said, my fingers are too stubby to put it in there. So we're gonna get the toothpick. Kind of one side, uh, plant it on one side. With uh, one hand, you're gonna wanna center that electrical tape. And with the other hand, you're gonna wanna just press down. And uh, quickly test it out. And uh, mine's a little lower than I'd like it. So let's uh, pretend. Let's pretend this is you. Normally I wouldn't care, but this is pretty low for me. So we're gonna take it out like I did earlier before this video. And higher up. Let's press down. All right, so. So yeah, I just checked it out right now and that, that worked out perfectly. And just to you know, double check, that's that's what it looks like right there. This little patch. I'm gonna clean this up, try not to move the tape, but and it actually worked out a lot better than I, oh shit. I took a photo, damn it. All right, so yeah, that's that's one of the main complaints of this camera is the dim rangefinder, along with how easily you can uh, press that button. My mistake for having film in this while doing this tutorial. I'm gonna be reviewing this camera actually pretty soon. I just wanna shoot a few more rolls through it. So if you wanna check that out, um, stay tuned. I just need to find a second shooter because I have something interesting in mind for this review. And I'm holding off until I get some more photos with it because I don't like, I wanna put out a video and just have like five photos demonstrating how to, how to use it, but yeah. So that's, that's it for this tutorial. Like I said, this should work on all range finders. And again, shout out to Rick Olson. Um, I heard also Sharpie works. But uh, I wanted something a little less permanent. I'm not that punk rock. Like, subscribe, uh, feel free to comment, sound off below. That's it. Whoa, shit. Alright, <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen. Come on.